Despite lockdown regulations being relaxed, the annual National Arts Festival is being forced to go completely digital for the first time in 46 years. The decision to move this staple on the African arts calendar online was made shortly after the initial lockdown announcement was made in March. So how will art and performances generally meant for live audiences actually translate into the digital space? He announced the chief executive officer of the festival, Monica Newton. Monica, first up, uh, many festivals such as yourselves are being forced to pivot and adapt to survive the COVID-19 pandemic. So what lessons, I wonder, are you learning and what is proving to be the most challenging part of taking the festival wholly online? One of the hardest things has been to translate the festival into the lockdown space. When we first made the announcement in, in mid-March, uh, we, were, we were going into what was, is now known as lockdown level five, which is that we could do very, very little. And then we started to see the dynamics changing under level four now under level three. So one of the most complicated factors has been navigating and negotiating our way through that for specifically pre-recorded work. And so what we've done is we've set up uh, production spaces uh, together with theatres across uh, Joburg, Cape Town, East London and PE will come online soon, Durban as well, to really begin to create spaces. And then once we've created those spaces, how do we make them safe? So for example, we worked with the Cape Town Philharmonic Orchestra and all of their work that's going to be presented this year is strings because we were concerned about how the brass and wind sections may in fact contribute to the spread of coronavirus. So what can audiences expect from the festival this year? There's incredibly diverse work. Uh, we've got everything from a one minute horror movie to a hundred minutes of Macbeth. There's a lot of work in the digital space. We have a whole range of workshop elements, which we're gonna be inviting, especially youngsters who who are interested in digital arts and film and media as careers to, to join us. Dance and theater, we will have some, some performances from, from well-known uh, names and more than that, we're also asking artists to reflect on some of the process, because as you pointed out, this is an incredibly strange environment to be working in. Do you think this online edition might make it easier and more accessible to audiences who maybe haven't been able to travel to Makanda in previous years? But the flip side to that is something surely gets lost from the experiential point of performing in front of a live audience. So one of the really difficult things that we, we're all dealing with at the moment is the, the fact that we're not attempting to replace a live experience. We can't. There's no way that what we can do at the moment with the current restrictions, we can't even film in front of an audience at this point. We have to stick to a maximum of 50, that's creatives, casts, and crew in any given venue. So what we're gonna try and do um, as best as we can is essentially create a chat environment, invite people to create watch parties, join as the festival those watch parties and make, make inputs from our curatorial team. But there's no question that there are elements of the live experience which we just cannot replicate. And a final question, how will the festival ensure the safety of creative work if art and performances will now be available online? In other words, how is revenue going to be derived? So one of the big things that we've done is completely change our, our festival financing model this year. So everything in the curated program is 100% paid for by ourselves. The and we will essentially, because we are hosting it all on our website, we will put everything behind an encrypted paywall. And we're doing everything that we can to protect that and to make sure that the rights of artists are protected and that the work is fundamentally then able to be produced elsewhere at, 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 a, at a cost, at a fee, because artists make a living doing this. The National Arts Festival will be taking place between the 25th of June and the 5th of July. And you can visit the website for more information. And here is an appeal. Let's try to support our artists as we learn to appreciate the things we used to enjoy in person in a digital setting.